Hey Spirit Scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, Purposing a Higher Degree in Me. I am your student teacher, Empress Shona is loved. Here on PhD in Me TV, we are purposing a higher degree in ourselves holistically. That means mind, body, and spirit. And I am here to empower you, encourage you, and enlighten you along in your holistic wellness journey. So if that sounds like something you could use and appreciate in your life, be sure to subscribe right now. Happy Friday, Spirit Scholars. You made it to the end of another week and you should congratulate yourself. Yes, it is Friday and I'm happy about it. I hope you are too. Listen, Spirit Scholars, I'm not going to be before you long. I got to get this workout on. Yes, I do. And make sure you make time to move your body today and every day. Because number one, it's a blessing to do so. And number two, this is PhD in Me TV, where we focus on not just our spirit, our soul, and our mind, but our body as well, right? Yes, we are blessed to be spiritual beings having a natural physical experience. And this body is the vessel that carries us around and about through this physical experience. And so you need to bless it by moving it, taking care of it, having good hygiene and all that good stuff. But in my typical mom way, I got, <laughs> I digressed on that point, but it's a good point. Nevertheless, what I want to talk to you about today, Spirit Scholars, is perfectionism. Yes, perfectionism. And what I want to tell you is do not let perfectionism hinder you in your progress, okay? Don't let perfectionism keep you from doing the good and important things that you want to do in your life. Now, some of you might say, uh, she's not talking to me because I am not a perfectionist. If you saw my anything, you would not label me as a perfectionist. Well, I want to say to you, perfectionism has different ways of displaying itself, okay? And one of the ways that perfectionism has of displaying itself is that everything is neat, is tidy, is in or order, um, just, you know, um, timely and all of that. That's what we typically think of when we think of perfectionism. But that is not the only way that perfectionism is demonstrated. Another way that perfectionism is demonstrated is through wanting things to be so perfect that you don't do anything at all unless and until you think that you can do it as perfectly as you envision it, okay? And believe it or not, a lot of people don't take action on their goals, dreams, hopes, wants, and desires because they have a perfect idea of what the outcome should be for those things. And if they don't think that they can execute and have those things materialize in the perfect way that they envision it, they don't do anything at all. And that can be anything from how they clean their room to getting a business started, okay? So that is something that you really, really, really want to examine yourself on your your perfectionism and how it is showing up in your life okay take note of it and if you identify it based on at least the two things that i just shared with you then be thankful number one that you can recognize it and then start to put things into place to overcome the areas in which perfectionism is holding you back, okay? Because you don't want to be held back by anything, all right? You want to move forward and not let anything break your stride. 
not let anything hold you down. Oh, no. You've got to keep on moving. <laughs> okay, Spirit Scholars. So think about that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay? And make sure to share it, like it, and leave me a comment so that we can dialogue in the commenting section. All right? I appreciate it. There are more videos on the way and you don't want to miss them, okay? Because I'm going all the way up. <laughs> and I want you, all you people who want to live purposeful, simple, intentional lives where you're living on purpose, for a purpose, and with purpose, I want you to join me, all right? Because the more positive people, the better, okay? And so with that, Spirit Scholars, I want to remind you that you are loved because indeed you are. And I also want to remind you that I'm coming to you with the joy that gives me strength. The strength to love, which is the highest degree. Abundant love, beloveds. <laughs>